Okay, I think I covered this one before with actually mounting a texture on an item, but I just want to kind of touch base on it again now that my workflow is complete. I have the knife and everything's baked out. So don't forget, um, just by looking at over here and loading an image, so say if I want to open an image in here just like I did in the video before, and it appears on the item. doesn't mean it appears over in render land. Okay, it's going to show up as a texture on it of course but when you go to actually render it it's not going to show up so let me show you uh, why that is and how you can debug your workflow a little bit so don't forget to go to the material here by going into the object and delete all material within the object first off and then make a brand new one this is this reasoning behind this is if you bring this item from another 3D application, it will drag along its material because there's an MTL file that states what kind of material it gets and how it gets applied. Okay, so this deletes all that information. Okay, now next, let's go into the objects. And you can see this material is labeled material. And if you go in here, this one's labeled material. Okay, that's a good sign. Now, what you can do is add new texture to it. Okay, that texture is over here. Oh, here. It gets assigned to it by going to the image, loading it from your hard drive, and selecting. Now, let's go back to the material and make sure you map it to your UV structure and map it to color. Okay, that being done, I can now go into and move my camera a little bit closer to the scene. Okay, um, probably do this in my top view. It's a little easier. So I'll move it over here. This this camera is kind of a pain to actually navigate around in and to get it straightened out. I, I just don't like it. So what I can do here is I'll show you where you get cameras and how you apply them. So if I just delete this one out, I can go into the space bar and just add a camera. It defaults a little bit straighter and what will happen here is you know, 137 on my keyboard, I can quickly go in here and rotate this out. Rotate it up. 7 on my keyboard, I can rotate it this way. And then I can move that. Let's say I want to see what's in my camera and I want to see the knife at the same time. Well, I can go in here and I can go to my 3D view and then choose camera. Okay, now when I move this, you can quickly see how I'm lining it up. Okay, one. And I'll probably go like this and rotate it just a little bit. I like setting up a nice sturdy camera. There we go. So let's do a little render on that. There we go, baked in texture. Now don't, f there's another thing in here that you should turn on to make it a little bit more amazing looking. Uh, go to the world and make sure your ambient occlusion is on. Turn your approximate. Much better. If you want to get rid of the edges that occur, like this one edge right here, if you want a softer outlook to the item, that is happening over here. Clicking on the item, and then going into Set Smooth. And then when you go to Render Current Frame, you can see now it has a glare to it. So that is assigning your texture over to the item.
and how that works and how to manipulate the camera a little bit. So next we're going to start on a, just a different workflow altogether and maybe touch base on other items. Okay, so have a good one. And that is the complete breakdown of how you uh, build UVs, take them, apply them to the item, do a bake out, bake the shadows, and apply it to the item. Enjoy. Have a good one. And until next video.